Hey guys, Super Mario Kid 64 here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Crash Bandicoot. Ugh. Crash Bandicoot. That's kind of a tongue twister for me. I don't know why. Let's Play Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back. Um, last time we just got through the introduction and we got everything at Turtle Woods. And Snowgo, um, I did get the gem off camera. I feel like such an idiot for missing that. The Switch that um, makes the blocks appear was on the bouncy block the whole time. I just had to jump a little bit higher, so I feel like such an idiot for missing that. All right, so next we are going to be doing Hang 8. Hang 8. I think this is a uh, water level. Okay, so there is two gems you can get on this level. Uh, one of them is for getting all the blocks as usual. Oh, great. Oh, and I am playing with the analog stick now, because that does feel a little more comfortable for me, but, um, than the little pad. But anyway, um, so yeah, one you can get for getting all the boxes, and the other one you can get for making it to the end of the level within the time limit. So I'm actually going to try and get that gem first, because it does kind of waste time to get all the boxes. So, uh, what do we care? Oh, yeah. X speed boost, got it. <laughs> Alright, gotta make it to the end within the time limit. Let's do this. Just gonna skip the bonus area too for now. Oh, and there's a blue gem path we can take too. Yeah, when you get certain colored gems, um, they allow you to take certain... Uh, they allow you to take uh, paths in other levels, which is cool. Oh, I have like 10 seconds, so let's hurry up. I don't know if I'm gonna make it now, now I'm scared. Damn it, I didn't make it, I was so close too. So we literally got nothing on that run, so let's try that again. Forgot what's on, I think the blue, I think the colored gem pass will take you to like a secret warp room or something. So yeah, that was a total failed attempt. Alright, so this time I'm going to take the blue gem path. Oh, we have a message from Cortex again. Three crystals. Not bad. I see you are getting the hang of it. I need to conserve power. I will communicate with you again after you retrieve the fifth crystal. Yep, just keep trust trusting him, Crash. Why am I having trouble talking again today? I don't know why. <sighs> anyway, Crash Bandicoot games do tend to have a lot of secrets, so there is like a lot of ways to get the gems and stuff. I just can't stand that. Like, I'm so glad they don't exist in this game. Like, that's something I really hate about Crash Bandicoot Warp. I just hate the freaking relics. They're so boring. It's like you gotta do the level again, but if you get die once, it's over, and you got and you're being rushed. I just I don't like that. Um, actually, I'm just gonna. Take the blue gem path, so let's see what happens. My cold is still not gone yet completely, but I did take some cold medicine. So I'm hoping that will help me. Alright, so let's see what's on this blue gem path. Oh, it takes you to an area with more boxes. So you actually have to go here to get all the boxes. Interesting. Oh great, but now I think we have to go back. Okay, um, I actually wanna go back. I'm just gonna start over again. Get the timed one, and then I will go back again, and I will just take the blue gem path, and I will get all the boxes. So let's do this really quickly so we can get that first gem. Because this is a 100% walkthrough, so I'm going to be getting everything. I am a little nervous, because I have to admit, Crash Bandicoot games are pretty hard. So I am. I still haven't beaten the final boss in Undertale. I'm really struggling with that. Ask for is really hard, and I'm going to try it again tomorrow. I'm really hoping I can finish that. And then I just started Pokemon Ranger Guardian signs earlier today. I'm loving it so far. I gotta get a amount of stuff done. And then when I'm done with that game, I'm gonna be doing Spire 2 Rift of Rage. 
and Ape Escape, and I'm really looking forward to both of those. Those are both PS1. Oh, I drew, drew, drove right into the hole. Well, I guess now I can just try and get all the boxes since I already failed that. Yeah, so let's just get all the boxes instead first. Shouldn't be too hard. I do not like the water levels in this game. These parts are very annoying. My favorite levels in the game are probably the sewer levels. Those are pretty cool. I do like the sewer levels. Alright, bonus room. No, let's not die. Oh, this looks like the bonus, um, bonuses from Crash Bandicoot 1, which I, by the way, I've said before that I hate that game. I think that the thing I hate the most about that game is the fact that, um, you, in order to save, you have to be a bonus. Like, that's ridiculous. Like, that, like, you shouldn't have to, and, and if you fail the bonus... Which, by the way, they're really hard. You can't save. Like, that's just bullcrap. Like, that is probably one of the hardest video games I've ever played, honestly. Like, that game... The first Crash Bandicoot game is just complete bullshit. Like, excuse me for cursing, but I hate that game so much. Like, I remember the level of Slippery Climb. Like, I remember playing that game when I was in, like, 6th or 7th grade and literally having, like, a nervous breakdown because of that game, because, like, I actually did manage to beat the final boss and, like, the main story, but I didn't get anywhere near getting all the gems, because it's just freaking ridiculously hard. Like, this game actually isn't hard to 100% at all. In fact, I actually think this is the easiest of the first three Crash Bandicoot games. The first one is definitely the hardest, and Warped would, like, be somewhere in the middle. Warped is kind of hard, too, but I don't find this game that hard, actually. I forgot, am I on the blue gem path right now? Where am I? Alright, so we're gonna have to find a switch to make blocks appear. Where is that? I do not... Oh, here we go. So we can go back. Uh-oh, we gotta be careful, though. I KNEW I WAS GONNA CRASH! Heh, <laughs> crash, get it. Crash Bandicoot. Well, I have the checkpoint, so it's not a big deal. I hate- no, that's something I don't like about this game, that it actually makes you do quite often. I hate in levels when it makes you go backwards. I really hate when it, the game makes you do the- <clears throat> How long is this level going to take, is what I want to know. Good job. Good job. Yeah, suck on that pole. Don't let it... Now I'm just embarrassing myself. Like I said, Crash Bandicoot, not the easiest franchise out there, that's for sure. You can't seem to get past those things. Anyway... It does kind of annoy me when you have to go back to levels. I hate when you gotta make multiple run-throughs. What the frick was that? Oh my god! Come on! Like, seriously. Alright, there we go, yay. Unfortunately, none of those are Aku Aku. I'm, like, confused now. Like, now I can't remember if I'm on the blue gem path, because I'm, like, not paying attention at all. Missed that box. And if I get hit on the way there, I'm gonna be mad. No, no, no. Oh, uh, thank god. Oh, that is the blue gem path. Alright, there we go. So let's continue on. So you do need the blue gem. Yeah, sometimes you will need a gem. 
a colored gem to get all the gems on um, a different level, or get all the boxes to get the gem on a different level. And this is hard, and this is the first of this type of level. Like, imagine what the other ones are like. They're pretty hard. Alright, so we are going to get all the boxes now, at least. So, like, guaranteed. Which is good. Sorry I've been screwing up a lot. <laughs> Just not having your best day, I guess. And I have a math quiz tomorrow, and I don't want to take it. Not in the mood. Alright, so I do think we got... Alright, so we got the regular gem, yes. So now we're gonna quickly come back, make it within the time limit, and then we are going to get that gem, and then we are done with Hang 8. Thank God. I remember, like, when me and my older brother used to play Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex, because that game is actually... I'm not even kidding, that game is, like... One of my, like, I played that game so much as a kid. That and Pac-Man World 2. Crash Bandicoot, The Wrath of Cortex, Pac-Man World 2, and um, Mario Party 4, 5, and 6 are, like, my main childhood games. Like, those are the games I played so much. And Mario Kart Double Dash, kind of. I'll never forget when um I was little when we were at this hotel this one time. And they had this thing where you could rent GameCube games on the TV, which was so cool. And, um, I remember I kept, like, accidentally renting Mario Kart Double Dash, like, multiple times. And then, like, my dad got so mad, because, like, I didn't know it was, like, getting charged each time. Oh, and I, I got, like, in big trouble, but, like, it was so worth it, because Mario Kart Double Dash is awesome. So I already screwed that up, but... We can try again. Oh, we're already 10% done with the game. Yay. So there's five warp rooms. 20, 40, 60, 80, which means every, once you get every, every single thing to be gotten in a warp room counts towards as 20%. So 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, and then after you get everything in all five warp rooms, um, then you 100% the game. So I feel like each warp room kind of has like a theme too. Um, the first warp room is this like woods. The second one is snow. The third, I can't, I think the third is runes. Uh, the fourth is fire. And then the fifth is space. I think the last warp room in every Crash Bandicoot game is always space themed. Cause you know like Bowser is like, always has like a fire level of like, Neo Cortex always has um, space theme levels. Well, Eggman, I guess, does too, kind of. Or that'd be more like robot theme or like factory. Alright, we gotta hurry up. We're running out of time. We have 20 seconds. Like, I almost feel like they don't give me enough time to do this. Yeah, like, I feel like I don't have enough time. Oh my god, are you serious? Did you see that? What the hell? Oh my god, um... Okay, I think I'm gonna go back and do that after. Like, I'll do it on camera, but let's just do the next level next the pits because especially because this level always only just has one regular gem so let's just do the pits next all right so we have another jungle theme level this one just has one regular gem to get that was ridiculous like i think it the timer should have stopped once i was in the room <laughs> Something that I hated in the first Crash Bandicoot game is when you jumped on a TNT box, you had to be on the screen with it in order for it to break. Or else, like, if you left the screen while, even though, even if you, like, still hear the uh, 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 and then the explosion, it doesn't count. There were so many flaws with the first Crash Bandicoot game, I swear it's ridiculous. <laughs> 
These birds are kind of annoying me too. Alright, so we have two paths to take, so we are going to have to backtrack. Looks like. How can an armadillo hurt you anyway? Alright, now I'm gonna see if we can travel backwards on the other path. It doesn't look like there is a way to get back there, so let's just go backwards and see what happens. Traveling backwards is really hard because you can't see what's ahead of you, so you gotta be really, really careful. I remember one level, like in the fourth warp room, it's like ridiculous how hard it is with the backtracking. Oh my god, like there's so many places to die. Alright, so let's see what's on the right path. You're kidding me. Well, talk about BS. I hate him. One thing I can't say about Crash Bandicoot is I hate how vulnerable he is. Just, I feel like I get hurt, like, and die so much in this game. I, like, he's so vulnerable. Like, I die so much in the Crash Bandicoot games, and I don't like it. And I have to admit, like, I don't mind Crash Bandicoot as a character, but I do find him to be very annoying. I think his stupidity is, like, almost overkill. Like, he's also a silent protagonist. Like, so is Mario, and, like, I know Sonic isn't, but, like, Mario's a silent protagonist, too, but... Mario's not an idiot. That's the thing. Like, I guess Mario and Bowser have teamed up before, but Bowser wasn't really tricking him. Okay, so I'm kind of confused, though. Like, which path am I supposed to take first of the two? Okay, so this is kind of where they... Okay, got it now. Oh my god, how was I supposed to see that? Freaking turtle robot. I feel like the right path is probably better to take first. Seems like. Alright, so we're probably. Those blocks will probably. Boxes, not blocks, will probably appear when we hit that switch on the other side. Alright, so be careful with the turtle robot. Oh my god, I almost touched it. And they have spikes on the side. So these ones you have to spin. And then those you have to jump on. Oh, the crystal is on that side, which you need to finish the level. See, this level just really bothers me. This is just a bad level. This is just one of those levels where it's like kind of a pain in the ass to get all of the boxes. Alright, so we're back at this checkpoint, so I think I got all those boxes. Oh, so now that I hit the switch, though, now I gotta go back and get those other two boxes. And I can't stand those birds, by the way. Alright, so we just gotta go back and get those other two boxes, and then we're good. Oh, and they're both extra live. Nice. And I think that's it for all the boxes in this level. So, I just to let you guys know, um, I'm gonna start... I decided I'm, like, sick of my projects taking so long. So, from now on, I am gonna start recording every day unless I'm, like, really, really busy. So, from now on, if I don't record... Because I'm really not a busy person, like I've said. Like, I have a really easygoing life, so... And I'm usually just, like, doing fun stuff, so... If I, um, don't record, it's like I'm really, really busy from now on. Like, I'm gonna record every day from now on. The next video I'm gonna do is probably gonna be the Mario Party 5 story mode. 
I was actually looking over uh, one of Slim, uh, Slim Kirby's Mario Party 5 project, which is like really old, like 2009, like I was little. I was like younger than how old my younger brother is now, but yeah, I was really little then. But um, okay, so we want to save these blocks. Boxes, why do I keep saying blocks? Because uh, we're going to need to go back up there. So these boxes can only be belly flopped, by the way. And these boxes, I think, can be jumped on a total of five times. So just make sure you count. That was weird that they broke. Because I'm pretty sure you can jump on those like five times. Yeah, like I said, I usually don't bother even getting the peaches out of those. I usually just break them. Oh my god, what the hell? I'm just having the worst luck today, I swear. And it's so time consuming the belly flop. I love how it's 10 o'clock at night on a Monday, and me and my youngest brother are the only ones home, right? I'm not even gonna say anything because I do realize that the same exact thing just happened. Are the only ones home? Like, my dad and my two other brothers are at hockey, and my mom went to like a fashion show or something with her friends. And like, wow, everyone's out so late on a Monday night and I'm at home playing video games as usual. So, um, we have a four-day weekend actually for Easter. We don't get like a break for Easter. We just get four days off. And our, my, my school spring break isn't until like the end of April. Like, I know some schools it's actually coming up like really soon, like this month. Like, I know my cousins are actually on spring break right now. Uh, but, uh, yeah, ours isn't until, like, late April. So, yeah, and then we just get a four-day weekend for Easter. I do have weekend plans. Uh, Thursday night, I'm going to see the teacher talent show at school with my friends. Yes, our school is actually doing that. I'm dying to see it. It's $5 for tickets, but I'm really excited. So, me and my two friends are going to go see that, and then we're going to get pizza after. And then I don't know what day and with who, but I'm seeing Zootopia this weekend. I've been dying to see that movie. I don't care who it's with, but I am seeing that movie with one some friend this weekend. Because I'm either going to go see it with my one friend, like just me and her, or my other two friends said they would see it with me. I don't know if I'm going to make this jump. Oh, thank God. That was one of the more annoying bonus rooms. All right, good, made it. Uh, this level is annoying. And I do think we have time to do one more level in this video. This was a lot harder than this. I love how we're still in the first warp room and I'm like already having problems. And then there's these other levels in the game where you have to ride the uh, polar, the polar bear. And those can be really hard too. And just like, ugh. I'm just like forgetting how hard it was to beat this game. It's like, yeah, I 100 percent of this game, but do I remember how long it took me? I mean, Crash Bandicoot, like I said, Crash Bandicoot games tend to throw like a lot of extra lives at you. So I feel like it, it's kind of like trial and error, but that doesn't exactly work for a let's play because it can be kind of embarrassing and people don't want to see you fail over and over again usually. I know I like someone keeps failing something, I'm like, oh, I'll just skip ahead a little bit. Alright, so we're good. The pits is done. I actually forgot how to get the red gem, but I will figure it out. Um, I know you can't get it out. And yes, we can do Crash Dash the last level. We do have time for that. And I will fight the boss in the next episode. Oh, Crash Dash is one of the levels where you're traveling backwards. So we do get chased by like a giant polar bear in this level. Oh no, a boulder. I know there is a level where you get chased by a giant polar bear though. These levels are really hard to get all the boxes in usually. 
because if you miss one, you're kind of screwed if there's no like checkpoint. And then those things can slow you down. Uh, the slide jump will definitely help you, and you can easily fall into a hole. These are probably the worst levels in the game, because like I said, running backwards really sucks. Because you can't take your time in these either, because you're getting chased by a boulder. These were in the first Crash Bandicoot game too, and they were just as annoying then as they are now. Well, I probably like falls when the boulder gets closed. Alright, so it doesn't look like I missed any boxes yet. I don't think this project will be too many videos. I mean, this is only the second video, and, and we're already like almost done with the first warp room. Crash Bandicoot games aren't too long. There's usually only like about like 25 levels. Okay, this level was a lot shorter than I thought it was would be. Another th oh, you gotta be very careful here. Because you can get crushed by that and die, actually. I don't really care about the extra life. I'm not risking my life for it. That moment in a video game when you die for an extra life. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Um... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, you can jump on those ten times? I could have sworn you could only jump on those five times. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know. I could have sworn you could only jump on those five times. Maybe in this game it's ten. <laughs> That's news to me, honestly. Oh, it's not over. I just thought like it was like the end because we got the. Oh, that was not a good idea. Because we got the crystal. I just thought it was like the end. Like I've died so much, and I have like 17 lives right now. All right, so the triangle button brings like all your stats down. Good to know. Oh, that was a really bitchy place to put a block. I keep saying block, box, sorry, and I don't have Aku Aku, so I hope I don't run into one of those fences, uh, it's getting close, also a bitchy place to put box, seriously, and that, oh my god, that face, though, that was worth it, and like, that was like right near the end of the level, too, Alright, so at the beginning of the next video, I will quickly get that gem where you're being timed. Alright, that time I just jumped on it. That was better. Those things slow you down. That's annoying. Oh, I touched the fence, of course. Well, I'm thinking that maybe if I get on both of I hope this video is not too long, too. And... I'm thinking that if I get on both of those dash panels, that might put me a little ahead more. Maybe you can't get on both of them, because it doesn't seem to be working for me. Okay, what the hell, either I run out of time to get it, or I get electrocuted. Like, what do you want me to do? Ugh, this game's frustrating. Okay, I'll admit, I forgot how hard this game can be. I'm like, this is only the first boardroom, so I'm really scared now. And I feel like no matter how far ahead you get in front of the boulder, like, it doesn't change. I keep touching the feds! Oh my god! Sorry that I keep yelling, but like, oh my god, I'm getting so frustrated. I keep doing that. Stop it. I suck at this game. I'm sorry. And I fall in a hole. This is just like embarrassing to watch. Sorry I suck so much. I, I'm just gonna be honest with you guys, as much as I love video games, I actually am not that good at video games, like... 
Like, for example, like, I couldn't beat, um, what's a game I couldn't beat because of the difficulty, uh... Oh, made it. Please say I got the gem. Yeah, sorry, good, we made it. I feel like there's a video game. Oh, I never beat Wario and Shake It because I thought it was too hard. I should probably go back and play through that game eventually because I do have it now. Alright guys, so that about does it for this episode. We almost got everything in the first warp, but we just need the red gem, and I'm just going to get that timed gem at the beginning of the next episode, and we're going to fight the boss and move on to the second warp room. So yeah, that about does it for this episode. Uh, we have another dialogue cutscene first. We are not without enemies. Some of them you may even recognize. Although they cannot harm you inside. That's basically Cortex saying that a boss is coming out. To the next one. To get to the next warp room, use the platform that appears in the center of the room. Good luck. I'm sure I could have figured that out by myself, Cortex. All right, guys. So that's about it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry for all the screw ups. I'll try and do better next time. So I'll see you guys next time for more. Let's play Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back. Later, guys.